But first, yeah. we have to talk shoes. Oh, yeah. And I just love shoes. There are millions of them in all kinds of styles, flats, tennis shoes, heels, or ridiculously impractical ones like the ones I'm wearing today. <laughs> but no matter what you like to wear, keeping your feet healthy inside them is a must, especially to help prevent health problems down the road. Sutton Tinsley with GS Medical Supply is trained to fit your feet for orthotic inserts and therapeutic shoes. He showed me a new machine that analyzes your feet. It is a foot orthotic machine that uh, evaluates the pressure points in your foot and it gives you a diagnosis of a type of insert that you can put in your shoe that will redistribute the pressure points throughout your foot, relieving pressure through your legs all the way up through your spine. Okay, I'm going to give it a shot. I'll stand up on here. You stand normally. We'll start the test. And it's counting down now. We're going to take a look at uh, where your pressures are in your feet. We want to redistribute that pressure throughout the foot to areas that can better tolerate the pressures. And how important it is it to have an insert for your shoes? Well, those for those people that are uh, may have knee problems, back issues, uh, foot uh, plantar surface, the bottom of your foot area problems, uh, it's extremely important to have a proper orthotic in there. And this is actually a true, what we call a functional orthotic, that actually changes the position of your foot within the shoe for more comfort and stability. I used to actually sell shoes myself, and I understand that an orthotic can ex extend the life of your shoe overall too, right? Right. Most shoes uh, come from the factory with a standard, uh, almost a wafer-thin type of uh, insert. What we want to do is take that insert out in a shoe that can accommodate an orthotic, which are most shoes, and put this orthotic in for more comfort and extended life of the shoe, but more importantly, uh, extended health of your foot. And what does this say about my feet? I look awful red on that one side. Right, the reds are showing where the most of your pressure is falling. Uh, and we wanna take those pressures and then move them to the areas of the foot that can better tolerate uh, the, uh, that pressure. It says here you should be wearing a, a size eight and a half shoe. And then if you step off just a second, we're gonna put the orthotic in that it calls for and retest you so you can actually see how we've changed the pressure. Okay, here I go. Ooh, these feel good. And we're gonna restart the test. And now what, we're, what you'll find up there is the reds that were uh, concentrated in certain areas before are now spread out through the entire bottom of your foot. And that's what we wanna see. We wanna see those pressure points changing and you should feel a difference in how that feels on your foot at this point. Yeah, I can feel my weight distributing forward a little bit instead of on my on my heels. I would imagine this would be great for people on their feet all day, nurses and uh, and athletes and to that extent. Exactly. People that are on their feet all day, especially nurses, teachers, uh, and then runners uh, especially. We want to make sure that inside of their shoe, when they're running and they're making uh, contact with the ground, that now that those pressures are more evenly distributed throughout the foot it makes a big difference. And what long-term problems can you avoid by wearing a good orthotic? Well, one of the big things that we see today uh, is plantar fasciitis. That's a big problem. That's uh, becoming one of the, probably the most common foot ailments, if you will. Um, that's one of the things that we're after. To, to correct. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, that's an extreme uh, pain in the bottom of your foot. Picture uh, on the bottom of your foot, if you will, simply uh, we have a tendon that runs from the uh, ball of your, your, from the front of your feet to the back of your foot. Think of that as a rubber band, mm -hmm. and that stretches every day. And when that rubber band stops stretching, it's like somebody putting a nail through the bottom of your foot. It's very painful. My, my sister suffered from a bunion herself, and she was all of like 24 or 25, and they had to break her toe and and shave down the bunion because she was on her feet all the time in heels and and just the it, it's kind of sad to know that someone so young could already have that kind of issue yeah bunions are typical you see that uh, especially in women's shoes they wear the I call the the pointy toe shoes and it actually crams your foot into that shoe and that all that uh, shear that you're getting and the pressure you're putting on those and the repositioning of your toes mm -hmm. causes those bunions later in life. I'm surprised at 24 that she has it, but that's something that we see a lot of. And you have some special types of shoes here for the orthotics, don't you? 
Yeah, the Atrex shoes are designed, number one, to continue mobility as we get older in life. But even at younger ages, uh, especially in the running, the athletic shoes, all of our shoes come with removable depth inserts. Mm -hmm. This allows us uh, a great deal of flexibility in fitting shoe sizes, uh, not only in the depth of the shoe, the width of the shoe, uh, but then we've added over the years. We started out as a therapeutic shoe company. Now we still do that. That's a big part of our business. But then also uh, we've added fashion and style. But our real main goal is still uh, functionality of the shoe, uh, mobility, uh, motion control, and then brought some fashion back into the shoes. But the removable depth inserts that we uh, provide allows uh, a facility like this to be able to fit a wide variety of shoes. And you can check out JS Medical Supply Store and Scrub Shop, 2201 Langhorn Road, Lynchburg, 4857037. And another thing I learned is that many of us are wearing the wrong size shoe, and that can cause all kinds of problems.